So in this video, I'm going to show you how I use this one light and this modifier to transform this scene from this to this to this and finally this. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or maybe just photography in general, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. So in today's video, I am once again taking you behind the scenes during one of my wedding or an actual wedding shoot. And I will show you again how I transform that particular scene or how I transform this scene into this. Now, before that, let's talk about the light that I use because you guys always ask about the equipment. So let's get it out of the way. The light that I used was this one. This is my Photix Indra 500. This is basically a portable battery powered studio strobe that gives me 500 watts. And the modifier that I use for this one is just this, a standard reflector. So in this particular scene that I'm gonna show you or this particular shoot that I'm showing you, the quality of the light is not as important or the quality of light is actually insignificant. It is more about the direction of the light that's actually very, very important. Now, the camera that I used was my trusty Sony A7R Mark III, and the lens that I had was my 16 to 35 F4 Carl Zeiss, Sony Zeiss lens, okay? So, let's get into it. So, I shot in a church called Christ the King, and this was a top shot of the church, but basically, where we shot a couple portraits was right here. This area here is the back, the very, very back of the church that is not really manicured, but it gave a very interesting place to shoot in. However, the only problem that we had when we were shooting here was we were against, or we were going up against the flies because this is where they actually throw their trash, okay? So this is how the scene looked like lit using ambient light. So I can't stress it enough when I am shooting with flash photography, the first thing that I will do is expose for my existing ambient light. And you can see here, my ambient light is overexposed or basically all my highlights are out of whack. So then I dialed my exposure for me to be able to control my existing highlights and get a lot of detail from the scene. Now from there, I will now put in my light and I will show you the actual output of this particular scene the moment I put in my light. And this is how it looked like. This is straight out of the camera. No edit has been done yet. And you can see that I have here my Photix Indra with a standard reflector hitting them. And honestly, this particular image by itself is already good enough. But if there's one thing that you guys might have learned from the channel, especially if you guys are not new to the channel, is that I normally don't accept good enough as good enough. I always try to make it better. Now, I said earlier that the quality of light didn't really matter too much compared to the direction of the light. And this, part, and this one actually shows you why. I just needed light on them. And since I was shooting wide, the quality of light didn't really matter that much so long as I had good directional light on them. Now, this image, as I said, is good enough, but there is something that for me, felt a little bit off. In other words, I felt that the posing did not fit the scene well enough because it was such an intimate pose that I felt that with this particular scene, the intimacy didn't really work. I didn't have it. So in my head, what would actually work? Maybe if this scene, this particular location felt as if they were in a park and they just met. So when they, would, when they would meet or see each other for the first time, they'd be walking towards each other and they'll be facing each other. So that's what I did. I post them this way. Now I also changed the location of my flash. You can see it here. I decided to put it here maybe just so that I can follow the natural direction of the light and have enough power to just maybe overexpose and create some flare. You know, sometimes we really do have to practice and play around and see how things will turn out. And this is how it turned out. I was like, 
no, it didn't work. Number one, I don't think I had enough power with my flash. And number two, too overexposed, meaning I wanted it to look as ethereal or I wanted it to look ethereal, so overexpose everything and still maintain the highlights if that makes any sense. But the location of this flash didn't really work at all, but I think I had my pose down. I like the fact that they were facing each other and it felt very intimate, but it didn't show intimacy. Um, again, am I making sense with that? So let me know in the comment section below if I am actually making sense with all these things that I'm talking about. And if at this point you actually do like the video, please consider liking the video because it helps the algorithm of YouTube show this video to more subscribers and to more people. The more we can grow the channel, the better it will be for me and also for you guys because I'll continue creating more videos like this. So again, the light that I put here, I experimented a little bit and I don't think it was enough or it was it didn't give me the look that I was looking for or what I was trying to envision so again I needed to redo what my thought process was and I decided to put my light then in front of them here you can see my assistant here holding it and this is a shot without the light so as I said earlier I do set my exposure first before I introduce the light and this was a test shot of how my existing exposure looked like. In other words, this is what was set in my camera. And after that, the moment I had my exposure dialed into how I wanted it to be, that's when I turned on my flash, and this was the final output straight out of the camera. In other words, no editing has been done on this one, and this is the final edited image. Now, the nice thing about this final edited image is that it shows you the dynamic range of the camera. And that's why whenever I am shooting, it's important that I know exactly what my camera can do. That even though you could see here I had a lot of shadows, I knew since I was shooting in RAW, it would have been so easy for me to recover those shadows and balance out the image. And finally, I did, I did a little bit of white balance tweaking and made it warmer to give it that softer feel. So there are three takeaways that I want you guys to take away from this video. The first one is that don't be afraid to experiment while you are shooting. You could see that I put my light in different situations or different locations to see what will work best. I had a vision in mind, it didn't work, so I transferred the light. And then basically I just started playing around, but I just did that quick. Number two, always make sure to, mas to match the pose to the scene and then match the light to the pose, okay? So you saw that the first image was actually very good already. However, it felt that I felt that the pose didn't fit the scene. Therefore, I changed it and I did like that little change in pose made it more intimate but not intimate. And lastly, something that might be a little controversial is that the quality of the light didn't really matter as much as the direction of the light, especially if you are shooting wide. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit that like button to help out the channel. And at the same time, subscribe. And while you're at it, click that notification bell. Now, you guys might be wondering if I do hold one-on-one -on -one online workshops. I actually do. The details of which I will put in the description below. And lastly, if you want to, if you want to see more of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.